This mass suicide appears to be my encounter which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of this year. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Welcome back to the Milton Memorial Arena. This evening, the North York Rangers pay their first visit to the Memorial Arena on Thompson Road to face the Ice Hawks. And tonight, this is shaping up to be a good matchup. John Carpino is our player to watch for the North York Rangers. Carpino has been tearing it up this season, 52 points in 34 games. He sits in the top five in scoring in this league. And our player to watch for the Milton Ice Sox is the high-scoring defenseman Austin Kosak. He's only found the back of the net once, but 25 assists, 
has got him up there as one of the top scoring blue liners. And we are underway. Walk through the neutral zone. Rangers controlling. North York Rangers are going right to left in their blue New York Ranger-like jerseys. The Ice Hawks are going left to right. Or sorry, they're going right to left in their white home uniforms. Holt across the line finds Capricado coming in on the side. His shot was stopped. Puck in behind the net. Capicotto for the blue line. Demon Sentis slaps at it, goes into the corner. Bennett tried to take a shot. It got blocked. Bennett being checked. Capicotto at the sideboards. At the line, it gets past Arnold, and here's an opportunity. Demon Sentis races back and does a nice job to poke the puck out of harm's way as he took it away from Carpino. And the play is called offside. Or so the play, puck went out of play. Here are the starting goaltenders for this evening's affair. Jacob Keogh is in net for the Rangers. He's seen 15 games. And this is his, I believe, fourth straight start. And Justin Urquhart's in net for the Ice Sox. He's beginning to take over that number one spot from Braden Mann. Mann is out this evening with an illness. And we'll see what the large goaltender Urquhart is able to do here tonight. He's had a lot of luck here at the Memorial Arena this year. Cobran gets it in. There might not be another player hotter here in the league. Here's a shot from Campbell, and that one went wide. And covered up at the side of the net by Keo. As I was going to say there, there might not be a player any hotter in this league than Brad Cobran. He had five goals on Monday night in an 11-3 victory over the Hamilton Red Wings. And he's got nine in his last three games. And last Friday night here at the Memorial Arena, we saw him score two in the final minute as the Ice Hawks almost pulled off a miracle comeback down three nothing in the final minute. They got two goals, 38 seconds and 24 seconds left in the frame before David Miller of the Raiders sealed it with an empty netter. Brought ahead, here's a pass over to the side boards. Bryce Abraham, who's recently shifted back to defense, was a forward for the majority of the year. Delayed offside here, and this one's gonna get sent. I would believe it's gonna go all the way. As I was saying, Bryce Abraham has played most of the season as a forward. He was a defenseman in minor hockey where he played for the Halton Hurricanes. He's now shifted back to defense and has done a really nice job. He had an outstanding game last Friday night. Face off, one cleanly back there by Austin Galley. Going back to retrieve. Are the Rangers getting in there? Gutita, nice job on the four check. Shipped out of the zone and Brock Patacchio banks off the boards. Tried to get to Jeremy Lang. Lang checks Simmons. Backhand shot in on net there by Fung. That one was stopped and brought out of the line by Lang and he just bounces off his man. Makes the pass across trying to find Kern Deep Nat. Controlled by the Rangers. Getting checked is Simmons but he gets the puck back across the line. Shot got blocked as it went into Abraham. In the corner, Patrick Arnold slides it back. Bryce Abraham carries it out. Nice little move there. They feed it ahead. Here comes Colburn across the line. Onside. Here's a shot. Didn't get anything really on it as it got redirected. Jake Baird also in there. He trips up his man, and we're going to have our first penalty of the game. Steven Sentis will touch it up, and the Rangers are going to go on the power play as Jake Baird's going to go off for tripping. 2.45 in tonight's game. So we'll take another look. Baird comes in to help out Colburn, and right there, trips up Brody Power. That'll get him two minutes. So on the power play of the Rangers, and we'll see what they can do. Pia Santini has it at the line. He goes left to right, puts it down into the corner. Behind the net, controlled by the Rangers. With it is Carpino. 52 points on the season. Co-leader in points for the Rangers. Kalk loses it, and Arnold gets it out. Ice Sox penalty, number 12, Jake Baird. Two minutes for tripping. Time for the penalty, 2.45. That's Baird, two minutes for tripping at 2.45. Carried along and flipped into the zone by Patrick Piacentini, and cleared right back out by the Ice Sox. 45 seconds off the penalty to Baird. Jonathan Butita raced in there hard. Just to... Uh, 
make it a little more difficult on PSN Taney, who made the breakup pass. Brought it along. Here's a shot. And Urquhart loves it down and he'll cover up with Liam Cairns. Fired that one in on goal. The North York Rangers had their four game winning streak snapped last weekend against the Mississauga Chargers, who defeated them 4 3 in overtime. However, that's five straight games with a point for the Rangers, and they're jumping up in the standings. Jocko Medi made a pass across, and it missed his intended target, sent down the ice by Butita. And the Ice Hawks were able to snap their own losing streak as they'd lost three in a row before they defeated Hamilton last Monday night, as mentioned, 11 3. Tipped into the zone. Hard after it there. That's Kinsella. Kinsella. Circles around. Goes to Jocky Ometti. He almost misplayed it. And Colbrin would have had a great opportunity. Couldn't get it out. Jocky Ometti shot. Kicked aside by Urquhart. Ice Sox are able to get it down the ice. Ty Campbell's going to pick it up. One on four for Campbell. Nice toe drag move. Cutting into the net. And he lost the puck as he went cross crease on Keo. 15 seconds left in the penalty to Baird. And one last rush before Baird will step back on the ice. Cairns brings it up the ice. Dances his way in, takes the shot. Pardon me, that was Kinsella. His shot got blocked, and Baird is back on the ice. Falling down was Steven Sentis. Took a whack at it, and he's underneath it, and that'll get us a stoppage of play. As the Ice Hawks captain has the puck frozen underneath him. Jar John Carpino is our player to watch for the Rangers. He's got a five-game point streak, and so does the man right there in the face-off circle, Corey Kalk. Kalk has also got a five-game point streak. And how's this for a stat? Kalk has got picked up points in 21 of his last 23 games. That's one of the reasons why he's one of the co-leaders in scoring on this Rangers squad. Here's Lapierre, the native of Quebec, will dump it in. Urquhart thought about playing it. Arnold passed it around. Gave it right to the Rangers. Shot in towards the goal. Redirection just missed as it went wide. Steven Sentis to Holt. Ice Sox begin the breakout. Holt brings it through the neutral zone. Across the blue line. Brings it to his backhand. Throws it out in front. Capicado got dragged down. I believe the net is off and the whistle will, will go as the net is knocked off. And we'll see if the faceoff stays inside. And I will believe it will. Capicado was taken into the goal on Jacob Keogh. Keogh's got eight wins and 15 starts this year. Goals against average of 362, a save percentage of 883. His partner in goal is Jason Pucciarelli. And Pucciarelli started the season with the Hamilton Red Wings, but was traded over. And Pucciarelli has seen 13 games of action so far this season with the Rangers. Abraham comes in to dig it out to help out, and he does. Abraham will carry it up. A tremendous skater brings it across the blue line. Has it knocked away from him? That's all right. He'll pick it up in the corner. Throws it out in front, and that almost had a chance to whack it home. Holding up, controlling. That's power. Two men coming at him, so he passes off. Lang comes across and does a nice job. The, for the former Burlington Cougar is able to keep it in. Nat will provide the four check pressure as the Ice Hawks change it up. Rangers look to move up ice. Pass went into the skates there of Patrick Simmons. They got it into the zone, but sent right back out. Pia Santini dumps it in. Urquhart stops it behind the net, and Brock Batacchio has it behind the goal. Leaves it for Colbrin. Colbrin goes cross ice to Ty Campbell. Campbell sidesteps a check, gives it to Ryan Burns. Burns on his backhand, left hand shot. Threw it out into the slot, kicked off, and the Rangers head up ice. Onto the stick of John Carpino. Carpino's shot didn't get much on it, and no problem as Urquhart makes the save. Justin Urquhart this season has seen a little bit of action. He didn't start the year with the Ice Hawks, he was just an AP, but as it was a recent addition to the Ice Hawks and has really done a nice job in the goal. And don't forget to follow the Ice Hawks on Twitter at Milton Ice Hawks 1. Follow us at, at JVI Video and follow Fast Talkie at Fast Talkie. And you can follow the Ontario Junior Hockey League at OJHL Official to keep up to date with all news going on in the OJHL. 
Dumped into the zone by the Ice Hawks. At the blue line. Kosak keeps it in. Nice job to put it right in the corner. Baird tried to spin to put it out in front. Paced it. Here's a shot, and that one was stopped. Rebound. Puck still loose. They jam away, and it's covered up by Keo. And I believe Shane Bennett may have taken a high stick when he took that shot in the slot. Bennett will head off the ice as he had a point blank opportunity. And Jacob Keo stands strong in the goal. We'll get another look. And that puck came right to Bennett. And you see there's a check as he ran into Philip Chatter. And Chatter's visor might have hit him right in the face. So Bennett heads off. This line will stay out there as they're now joined by Jonathan Butita. Pace. Couldn't check the puck away. Steven Sentis behind the goal. In the corner. Thrown to the blue line. Here's a shot from Jack Ometti. It was stopped. Glove down. Trying to play it ahead was Taylor Price. Shot on goal. Stopped by Urquhart. Rebound popped right up in front. And the Rangers tried to knock it out of midair. Charles Lapierre will pass it over to Scott McGuire. McGuire to Kinsella. Kinsella got across the line, dumps it in. Him and Price, they'll pull U-turns, head to the bench. Rangers making a change. Arnold almost turns it over. Patrick Arnold's got to move it and get it out of the zone, and now he does. Gets it to Capicato at the red line. Finds Jeremy Lang. Lang took a shot. Might have got deflected off the shin pad. Kinsella turning in the corner. Behind the net. Capicato works it to the line to Austin Kosak. Kosak got it in deep. Lang puts it out in front, and Holt was almost there for a one-timer. Lift up into the air, and Kosak will chop it into the bench right in front of Liam Kearns. An older squad here for this North York Rangers lineup. There you see John Carpino. He's a 95 birth date, so he'd still have a couple of years of junior eligibility left, but no 96s. And throughout the game, we will bring you the out-of-town scores. As you can see, Mississauga and Oakville got no score. St. Mike's leading Hamilton one to nothing. Trenton and Lindsay, no scores. Most of these games are just getting underway. Newmarket and Pickering hasn't started yet. And Kingston and Wellington are just nicely underway. So we'll check in on those throughout the night. Here's a shot from the line, they score! Wrist shot from the blue line by Brody Power, and that one might have had some eyes because Burkhart wasn't really sure where that one came from. And it finds the back of the goal, and the Rangers lead 1-0. Here's a look at that shot from the blue line. Brody Power is going to get credit as he took that one and might have hit one of the Ice Hawks there as there was a couple went right in front of man. Or Urquhart, pardon me. And that one finds the back of the goal. So 1 0 for the Rangers. So the Ice Hawks try to counter back. And I believe the net was off. It's, nope. Not really sure where the whistle came from there. Faceoff will be inside the North York zone. They change things up. And now the Ice Hawks will take their turn to make a change. We talked about the point streaks that the Rangers had going, specifically Carpino and Kulk. Shane Bennett has gone Every game, except for five of them this season, recording a point. So Bennett has been tearing it up, and that's one of the reasons he's one of the top leading scorers in this league. He's currently picked up two or more points in four of his last five games. So when he scores, he does it in bunches. Rangers moving ahead. Nia Santini passed it off to Power. Power went up ice, got deflected into the zone, and Urquhart covers up before anybody could get close. The scoring play on that goal was recorded as Brody Power picking up the marker, getting the assist were Ryan Kinsella 
and Chris Atchison. Face off was won back by the Ice Sox. Tyler Burns in the corner. Passed ahead to his brother Ryan. Ryan gets across the blue line. He's got Campbell going to the goal. Threw it in front. Puck goes into the corner. Campbell keeps it in deep. This one carries around the boards. Burns right in there on top of Fung. Losing his stick was Cobran. Burns also in there. They had Zachary Fung tied up. Fung tries to carry it out. Second attempt doesn't get it out, but now it finds its way onto the stick of Lapierre, and Lapierre will dump it in. Campbell missed the check right in front of our location here in the timekeeper's box. Rangers keep it in the zone. Burns behind the goal. Gave it to his brother Ryan. Ryan Burns put this one down the ice, and that one's not going to be called icing as linesman Kennery will wave it off. Onto the stick of Atchison. He goes cross into the center. Pass, hit a skate, pace. Just got out of the way of a big check there. Pace, however, snaps his stick, and he was offside as Butita picked up the puck in the neutral zone. 8.59 left here in the opening frame. Rangers on top, 1-0. To this evening, the Rangers are dressing a couple APs. Number 96 is Philip Chatter. He's appeared a few times this season for the Rangers, and, and the backup goaltender this evening is Mark Manzo. Face off in the neutral zone. Butita will take the face off. Linesman Kennery making sure everyone's lined up properly. Now he drops the puck finally, and Nat gets it back to Kosak. Off to Pusangas. Daniel Pusangas is the newest acquisition for the Ice Hawks. He made his debut on Monday night in Hamilton, had two assists. Nice job there for the blue liner. And his final year of junior eligibility. Cross ice pass onto the stick of Kinsella. He dumped it in. Urquhart out of the goal. Tried to shoot it around. This puck got deflected. Came right out into the slot. However, no Rangers were there. And the ice hawks go up ice. And that's right. Carnegie Nat was a step, it was a step ahead and offside is called. I don't think there's much question about that one. He looks around. I think he might have known that as well. As the other linesman was in the right spot to make that call. Here's a look at Urquhart. Didn't realize the man was right up against the boards. He shot right into his shin pad. As mentioned, no one right in front to capitalize for the Rangers on what was a lucky bounce. Rangers coming across the line, throw it towards the goal, steered into the corner by Urquhart. Shot towards the net, went wide. Stepping up is Pia Santini. He kept it in, but only briefly. And here goes Shane Bennett. Bennett moving in, taking a look, takes a bad angle shot. And that one was stopped by Keo. As Michael Capicato once again goes crashing into the net as he's trying to find his way to the goal. Looking for any rebounds here tonight. And Bennett really didn't have much to shoot at there. Thought he might have had the corner over top of the right shoulder of Keo, but didn't get it up quite high enough. And would have taken some great accuracy to find that spot. And we do know Shane Bennett's got that. That's the reason he's a leading scorer here for the Ice Hawks. Shot on goal, stopped by Keo. He covers up. On the season, Shane Bennett's recorded 48 points in 30 games, 22 goals, 26 assists for the former Buffalo Junior Saber. Face off to the right of Keo. Bennett loses that one cleanly. And behind the net. Pia Santini will carry it out. Got a man on him, but he got the pass off. Cross ice speed right onto the stick of Chris Atchison. Atchison, redirection towards the goal, and that one was stopped. And getting away with the penalty there was Arnold as he came with the big cross check. Shot on goal was stopped by Urquhart, and the rebound pops free. Rangers trying to turn up the heat. Behind the net. Bennett got it to DeVincentis. DeVincentis was checked. Couldn't get it out as it was kept in right at the blue line. Holtz kicks it to his stick. Puck was bouncing. He lost it and continues to work away, and he got it out. Bennett will put it into the zone. Ice Hawks head off for a change. Rangers controlling. Here goes Brody Power. Powers pass cross ice. Was slowed down briefly, but not controlled there by Matthew Whitaker. And the Ice Hawks, who took control, just end up icing it. With seven minutes left here in the first period.
Face off to the left of Urquhart. One back by the Rangers. Keeping it in deep, Florindo in the corner. Brought out by Patacchio. Banks it off the boards. Nice job by Baird to control. He hits Lang through center. Here comes Jeremy Lang. Tried the toe drag move. Didn't really work, but he goes into the corner. Continues to fight away for it. Kicked in around the boards. And picking up Butita. Butita gets it to Baird. Baird. It's a nice job. Butita comes in to help. Butita almost had it and couldn't get it out in front. Florindo picks it up at the half boards. Spins back to try and create some space. We'll throw it in behind the goal. Rangers now set up. Butita came in there with the pressure, but it's brought along by Scott McGuire. McGuire's pass tipped into the zone by Michael Florindo. Florindo and some of his line mates head off for a change. This gives the Ice Hawks a chance to get it out. They aren't able to as it was kept in. Baird shoots it right over to his bench where they were making a change. He's got to have a little more awareness there. Lucky for him, nobody was there to step on the ice and touch it for a too many men penalty. Kutsangas banks it off the glass. Jockey Ometti couldn't glove it down. Racing to it was Coburn. He pushes it back. Rangers bring it ahead. Zachary Fung gets it into the zone. Urquhart will cover it up as Jockey Ometti came flying in there. And definitely the smallest of that group, Michael Jockey Ometti, only standing at 5'9", going hard to the net. Or actually, the smallest of the group is Patrick Simmons. He stands at 5-4 for the Pickering native. Kosak puts it around the boards. Campbell right there. Checked away from him. And to help is Simmons as he tries to dig it out. Also, there's Coburn and Coburn. Pulled it out of that pile. Raced to it. Burns couldn't get it out. Captain at the line. Shot in the score! A redirection, I believe. Off the stick of Simmons, gets past Urquhart, and that's two point shots that have found the back of the goal, and North York leads two to nothing. We'll see if this one was tipped. And it was. As redirected in the net by Patrick Simmons. And the Rangers lead two to nothing. So a nice tip there. And for Urquhart, uh, might be two goals now that were redirected. We know this one was for sure. That first one might have hit a leg of one of his defenders. So, the Rangers lead 2-0. Pass through the center, was onto the stick of Bennett. Bennett does a nice job to get to it. There's a shot from Capicotto and it's stopped. North York goal scored by number 67, Patrick Simmons. Also divine for eight, Austin Galley. And number 18, Damon Tenenbaum. In the neutral zone, Holt tips it ahead. Capicotto trying to slow it down. He dives and one hand whacks at it. As he tried to find Bennett who was coming in on the right wing. Controlled, Liam Kearns tried to go inside out on Arnold, that didn't work. Icehawks send it down the ice, and this will go for icing. As back to retrieve was Scott McGuire. And there's a look at Scott McGuire in his final year in the OJHL from Mississauga. 5'10 at 175 pounds. Need some of that veteran presence that the Rangers possess. Face off to the right of Urquhart. Off the draw, Cairns has it. Cairns threw it into the high slot looking for Carpino. Came to the blue line and McGuire dumps it in deep. Steven Sentis behind the goal. Lost it as, as it's controlled. Carpino threw it across ice. Back to the line, LaPierre clicks the shot, stop, rebound, and it's put wide. As Urquhart made the first save and wasn't able to hold on. Here's another chance. Knocked away, and it's an odd man rush. Three on two, four on two. Bennett to Holt, Holt, shot, and that one might have been blocked or just put wide. Now it's shot down the ice, almost hit Holt in the back, and this will go for icing as it hits the side of the net. So icing's called. Get a look at Austin Kosak, our player to watch for the Ice Hawks. 
On Monday night, he snapped his five-game pointless streak. Here's a player who's been racking up the points all season and just found a slump. But he's got out of that the other night. We'll see if that continues. Flipped over the head of Pusangas. Pusangas lets it go for icing. And a lot of yelling coming from the Ice Hawks bench as they're making sure the Rangers aren't able to make a change. That's twice now they've iced the puck. And that line out there is pretty much gassed. As there's a look at the Southwest Conference standing. Buffalo continuing to be on top. Georgetown only four points back. Burlington and Milton separated by seven points, but the Ice Hawks have got four games in hand. But really, this is where the Ice Hawks have got to make up ground as the other division, the South Division, their top half is really taken off of this. And you see the Rangers in the mix there. With the likes of the St. Michael's Buzzers, the Oakville Blades, and the Toronto Lakeshore Patriots. There really aren't any easy games in the Southwest Conference. Josh Pace has it in his own zone. He stops. He's got Lang in motion. If he passed it to Lang, Lang got a piece of it but was checked. McGuire put it onto the stick. A Tenenbaum. Pardon me, that's Price. Taylor Price taken into the corner. He's checked. Picking it up is Kosak. Kosak takes a double check, but he got it ahead. Baird goes after it. Rangers dump it in. Kosak over to Pusangas. Pusangas to the red line. Calmly flips this one towards the goal. Bringing it out of the zone. That's Ryan Kinsella. Kinsella comes in. Shot stopped by Urquhart. Left a juicy rebound. But it was controlled by Bryce Abraham. Kept in at the line. Onto the stick of Chris Ashenson. Ashenson threw it out in front. Didn't connect. Spinning. Here's Kinsella with the shot. And it was stopped. Abraham kicks it ahead. Burns to Campbell. Here comes Ty Campbell. Gets it to, tried to get to Coburn. Pass was behind him. Coburn in the corner. Spins back. He got away from the first check. Helping him out is Campbell. Ryan Burns in the corner. He takes a hard check along the boards. And the Rangers look to break out. Brought into the zone. Here's a shot as that one was shot by Philip Chatter. Florendo shot. Got blocked. And he took a good check in front of the Ice Hawks bench. The collisions continue on. And Ty Campbell gives him an extra whack. We'll see if that battle continues on here tonight. This one's dumped into the zone. And it's called offside, or high stick. And Matthew Whitaker gets in there and kind of gets some words going. So Brock Patacchio is going to go off for high sticking. With 150 left here in the opening frame. And right there. I really just, that's a tough call to make. He was just protecting himself for the check that was coming towards him. But you can't get your stick up. That's why he's off. Carpino kept it at the line. Carpino, top of the circle. Passed it over to Piacentini. Piacentini has it again. He's got Atchison across the blue line. Saucers it to Atchison. Atchison back to Piacentini. Piacentini off to call with the shot. Rebound scored. Side of the goal. The Rangers get a power play marker. They're one for two now on the power play, and they lead three to nothing. So Corey Kalk will get it from Liam Kieran's on the power play. He just takes a shot and put it right over the glove of Braden Man. And it's three nothing now for the Rangers. Carrying it out from behind his own line. Ahead with it is Kinsella. Kosak angled him off nicely. In to help was Galley. He was checked. Butita pins his man. Kusanga was also in there. But continuing to come out of there was Fung. His pass, however, missed everybody. And 
Escapes the zone. Off the bench, taking the pass onto his stick was Price. Whitaker looking for it. That's Nat. Nat. Got tied up. 15 seconds left here in the opening frame. Long pass up ice, and icing is called with 13 seconds left here in the first period. So one last chance for the Ice Sox in the opening frame to get on the board. It's been tough to do. The Rangers have really come out flying here tonight. Coburn tried to win it towards the goal. It was wide. They put one right side, and then they score! The Ice Sox get a late goal here in the opening frame, and that's a huge goal to try and turn the momentum heading into the intermission. And the Ice Sox will take that one. Brad Coburn won it towards the net, and I believe Ty Campbell's gonna get credit. He just fired one. Fired one towards the goal, and it found its way past Keo. So Ty Campbell is able to get the Ice Sox on the board, and there you can see the look from the North York bench. Definitely not impressed as they give up a late marker after they took a commanding 3 0 lead. So the buzzer will sound, and the first period comes to an end. Three goals from the North York Rangers got them out to a 3 0 lead, but with eight seconds left, Ty Campbell finds the back of the goal from Brad Cobrin, and the Ice Hawks look to build off that and take a little bit of momentum into the second frame. We'll be back with the second period coming up in moments. North York leads Milton 3-1. Right, everybody we're back now for the second period of play and before we get to that we're gonna take a look and a moment at our play of the period there you see the Rangers are leading the Ice Hawks three to one so we get ready to start the second frame and now here's a look at our play of the period and we're gonna go back to the second goal of the game which came from the point And it's going to get redirected by Patrick Simmons. And you watch Simmons there. You're going to see him come in with a nice tip right there and redirects it perfectly right past the glove of Justin Urquhart from the point shot. Aspiring that point shot was Austin Galley. So perfect redirection. And with that, the Rangers lead by a score of 3-1 to one as we get ready to start the second frame. All right, now we're all set. And referee Moines ready to drop the puck. Capicotto, Carpino, black away. And Capicotto gets called, and I, that is, where was the call on the first slash? Come on, that's uh, very questionable when you got two players slashing each other. Wow, that's all I'm gonna say to that one. It's Capicotto's off now four seconds into the opening period. So Capicotto sits, and it's a power play for the Rangers. So they work it down low into the corner, back to the line to Atchison. Goes across to Piacentini. Piacentini. To Carpino. Back to Piacentini. 
shot towards the goal and it missed. Santini got it into the zone. That's Corey Kalk. Carpino to Pia Santini. Finds find Kieran's in the slot, but he passed off to nobody. Demon Sentis chopped at it, kept in at the line. Carpino down low. They pass across. Couldn't get a shot away, so they go back to the line. Patrick Pia Santini finds the center of the ice, takes the shot, and it was wide of the goal. Maybe it was looking for a redirection. Back to Pia Santini one more time at the line. Still has it. Over to Carpino. Carpino, high slot, walking in, lost the puck. Pia Santini comes in to help him out. Shot redirection, stop rebound, and it's knocked over the goal. Back to the blue line. Carpino and Pia Santini working it around. There's a shot redirection, gloved by Urquhart, and he'll hold on. He makes a good save there. As we move into the final part of Capicola slashing minor, and really that was, I'm really surprised that call was made, because I mentioned it right before they dropped the puck, Carpino and Capicola were exchanging some wax, and they continued to do that once the puck was dropped, and Carpino, I guess, was wise enough just to go down after Capicola gave him a whack. And with a two-man referee system, you kind of wonder sometimes, because they both looked at each other, and neither put their arm up at first, and then the referee Smith decided he was going to be the one to make that call and put the Ice Hawks down a man. But the Ice Hawks are able to kill this one off as Capicotto steps back out onto the ice. Pass through center. Was tipped. Icing waved off. Urquhart's going to come out of the net. Got to be careful. He got a man right on him. We had a referee go down, and that was the official Smith. And he took a good spill there. And he hit the back of his head on the ice. I never want to see anybody get hurt, especially the referees. Dangerous play by Urquhart behind the goal. It's a couple times he's run into that situation. And the puck came towards Smith. And you won't see it on your screen there, but I think he just kind of caught an edge. And we're interested to see what happens here because we talked about we talked about the two-man referee system. Well, be interested to see if what would happen if we went back to one. I personally think on a rink like this, one referee is plenty, just because they're not. It's not a big surface here. There's only so much room on the ice, and when you got four officials out there, you're really run into some situations where the linesmen and the referees get hit. So the faceoff's gonna be right at center ice. North York questioning me where that draw would have been. I think the play was inside. Well, wait a sec here is Official Smith just cleans off his helmet. So face off at center ice and linesman Richard will drop it. Galley won it back. Baird tried to push it again through his legs, I believe. Pace picks off a pass. Got it to Lang. Lang backhanded it wide. And here go the Rangers up ice. And there's a good check as Lang comes back, knocks over his man. Kosak regroups and controls. Drops it back. Kusangas to Lang. Ahead to Baird. Nice break out here from the Ice Hawks. They get it in deep. Josh Pace goes in there, and he puts on some pressure on Scott McGuire. However, the breakout works for the Rangers. Carried along. Here's a shot redirected, and that one heads out of play. They'll get a new piece of rubber and have the face off inside the North York zone as that one was deflected. Off the face off. 
Batacchio ahead to Bennett. Here comes Bennett across the line. Tried to toe drag it, lost it, and it's controlled by Michael Florindo. Florindo gets it in deep, Urquhart out of the goal. Takes his time a bit when he comes out to play the puck. We've seen the Rangers have jumped all over him whenever they get the opportunity. Batacchio, nice pass to Bennett. Here comes Bennett through center, cross the line. Holtz driving the goal. Bennett has it poke checked away. Nice job there from Tenenbaum. Back to the blue line, Arnold's shot. And that one will hit Tenenbaum and go out of play. Or I did believe it did. Uh, as the official Smith originally was signaling for that face off to come out into the neutral zone, thought it hit the Ice Hawks player's stick, but I went off of Tenenbaum and the face off will be to the right of Jacob Keo. Flipped out of the zone. Steven Sentis knocks it down. There's Campbell. Coburn picks it up right at the center ice. Spins back. And he's checked. Is reading that one perfectly with Ryan Kinsella. Kinsella checked away from it by Campbell. Campbell had his stick lifted for a second. Got it ahead to Burns. Coburn picks it up. Coburn takes a shot. And that one's gloved by Keo with no problem. But a nice shot there from Coburn. As now Campbell goes to the front of the goal and tries to stir up a little bit of trouble. That was a nice shot from Coburn as he really snapped that one. As you said, he's had the hot stick lately. Couldn't beat Keo there as Keo had a perfect view of that wrister. Puck goes into the bench and face off will stay inside the zone. And now Campbell goes at someone there, and I believe Campbell has just picked up a minor. As he went right at Corey Culk. And Ty Campbell's going to get a roughing after the whistle penalty and the faceoff. It's going to come all the way back down into the Ice Hawks zone. So a bit of an undisciplined penalty there from Campbell. But there was definitely something there from earlier in this game because, as you see, Kulk goes at Coburn and Campbell gives him a shot as he comes in to defend his line mate. Campbell sits for two or less, third power play of the game, or fourth power play of the game now for the Rangers. They're one for three. Atchison's shot is blocked by Coburn. Sox flipped it up into the roof here at the Memorial Arena. Face off will be to the right of Urquhart. One cleanly back and Pia Santini. He anchors this power play. He's got it at the blue line. Stops and holds up. Still has it. Butita just trying to get in the lane. No shot for Pia Santini. Goes off to Carpino up on the left wing. Carpino, the right-handed shot. Back to Pia Santini. Back to Carpino. He's going to walk in. Top of the circle. Puts it down low. They try to give it back. And that one was tipped by Butita. And it'll escape the zone. Backhanded, here's Kalk. Kalk, fake the slap shot, throws it back to the blue line. So once again, setting up for the Rangers. It's Atchison who's been setting up on the right wing. Gives the P.S. Santini over to the left wing, top of the circle. Shot from Carpino was wide of the goal. Ricochets back to the blue line. P.S. Santini one more time. Patrick P.S. Santini to John Carpino, the leading scorer for the Rangers. Here's a shot from the blue line from P.S. Santini. Atchison shot, hit the post. Puck was lying there and it's cleared away by Patrick Arnold. As he saves one there, Atchison found the post, and Urquhart who came out to challenge with the puck sitting right in his crease behind him. Well, Patrick Arnold in the right spot at the right time, got it out, and now Pusanga sends it down the ice. Good save there from the defender, Patrick Arnold. Picked up by Zachary Fung, and Fung being watched by Baird, gets it in deep, got past Pusangas behind the goal, Let's it rim around. Galley's waiting at the blue line. And now they'll throw it back. It's Fung, however. Puts it into the corner. But she passed out in front, was picked right off. Pusungas had all day, and they'll send it the length of the ice. Pace heads off for a change. Campbell's back on the ice. And now the Rangers are one for four on the power play here tonight. The Ice Hawks 
are still waiting their first power play of the game. Busangas in the corner. Does a nice job. Angled his man off. Puck, however, is dug out. Here's a wrister from a bad angle to the blue line. Scott McGuire has it. His shot was redirected. Busangas in the corner looking for it. Austin Galley keeps it in deep. Working his way up in the corner. That's Ryan Kinsella to the blue line. There's a wrister floating on goal. Redirected and it's cleared away. But it comes right back to the slot. Isox in a desperate need to get that puck out. Daniel Holt is upended heavily there. Good check from Taylor Price. In the corner, Price joined by Kinsella. Ryan Kinsella tried to hop past Bennett. He checks him. Bennett puts it off the boards. Pass ahead, Michael Capicotto racing hard after it. Capicotto stops back. He's cross-checked down. I think he'd already lost his footing before he took the check. As he tried to hold up and check his man. Chasing him down was McGuire. Rangers moving out of the zone. Ran it across the line. Charles Lapierre. Lapierre threw it towards the, or flipped it up in the air. Kosak has it. Find Daniel Holt. Holt. Couldn't control. Flipped into the zone by Matthew Whitaker. Drop pass back. Bennett takes a high check. He tried to pass it to Holt up on the right wing. Ice Ox pinned in their own zone, and now we're going to have a penalty going to North York. And it's going to be a hooking call as Austin Kosak's down there for a second as he took a bit of a beating from behind. And it's going to be a hooking minor coming up. And right on cue, the Ice Hawks are going to get their first power play. And there you see, no doubt about it, and Matthew Whitaker heads off to the box. Ice Ox on the power play. There's a shot from Coburn that got tipped out of play. Face off to the left of Keo. One back by the Rangers. However, they can't get it out. Coburn had blocked it down. Abraham kept it in. They put it behind the net. Campbell. Also in there is Ryan Burns. Another clearing attempt kept in. Bryce Abraham over to Justin DeVincentis. DeVincentis takes a shot, redirected, rebound shot. Oh, and Campbell hit the post. Ty Campbell right at the crease. Couldn't put it past the post as he had the goaltender, Keo beat. Ice Hawks really moving it around on this power play. Rangers very aggressive on the penalty kill. DeVincentis kept it in with his foot. And Ryan Burns into the corner to Campbell. Campbell's got to make sure he's got the puck. He's checked and knocked down. Puck goes behind the net. Ryan Burns is there. Coburn knocks over his man. However, it's picked up and controlled by Brody Power. Power sends it down the ice. Coburn had his stick being held behind the play. Ice Hawks bench looking maybe for another minor. Abraham drops it back to Devin Sentis. 40 seconds left in the penalty to Matthew Whitaker. Devin Sentis, the Ice Hawks captain, brings it up ice. Gets it to Capicotto. Capicotto tried to tip it in deep. It's controlled, and away with it is Ryan Kinsella. Kinsella lost it. Holt looking for it, and this time it's sent down the ice. Kinsella doesn't mess around that time. Make sure it goes the length. Daniel Holt has it. 20 seconds, or 15 now, left in the penalty to Whitaker. Devin Sentis. Up on the left wing to Capicotto. Capicotto dumps it in. He's got to race hard to that one. He goes in on Ryan Kinsella. He takes Kinsella down. And there's going to be a penalty coming up. Oh, man. The Ice Hawks bench doesn't agree with that one. And I, whoa, it's called cross checking. I hope we get another look at that one because I do not believe that was a cross check whatsoever. Moines calls it. Let's see what it was. Here's a look, and I cannot believe that was a cross check. I, that is, wow, wow. One hand on his stick, pushes the man, really doesn't check him as hard as he could have, and he gets called for a penalty. 
So the fifth power play of the game now for the North York Rangers as Michael Capicotto is back in the box for cross-checking. Controlling it are the Rangers. Carpino puts it down low. Still controlled. Hulk puts it in deep to Carpino. Pia Santini's shot is wide. Atchison trying to pick it up. He's being checked. Back to the line. Pia Santini maybe had a lane to shoot. Still waits. Continues to hold on to it. Now he lets one go. And it's stopped. Well, look at this one more time. It's called cross-checking. No doubt about it, it isn't a cross-check because he's only got one hand on his stick. And you can see the official's hands going up before he even hit him. His hand was going up just as they're making contact, so he was ready to call that. I think he thought he might have been predicting that Capicano was just going to run his man into the boards, in which case he could have called charging or, or a boarding, but... Man, oh man. Breaks aren't going the way of the Ice Hawks. Fifth power play of the game here for the Rangers. 45 seconds left in this power play. Shot is wide. It was off the back boards. Cataccio whacked at it. It's an attempt there from Campbell. So he tried to get it out. It was kept in. Rangers put it in behind the net. They throw it to the blue line. PSNT, they work it right around. They tried to put it to Kieran's in the high slot. Missed. 25 seconds now. Left in the penalty to Capicotto. Pia Santini. This man never leaves the ice on the power play. Kalk picks it up. Behind the net. Kicked it to a stick. Works his way around. Finds Pia Santini. Goes across. One-timer from Ashenson. Blockered by Urquhart. Nice save there from the Ice Hawks netminder. As there's now five seconds left in the penalty to Capicotto. Pia Santini. Works it around to Atchison. He hits Pia Santini in the slot. He spins with the shot. Stopped by Urquhart. Back on the ice is Capicotto. So now one for five are the Rangers. And fresh out of the box is Capicotto. He joins into the rush. Campbell tried to pass it off. Picked up. Breakaway for Austin Galley. Galley in all alone on Urquhart. Shoot. Scores. Austin Galley snaps it. Five hole. An unlucky bounce there for the Ice Hawks. And the Rangers, who are making a change behind the play, walk in and score. Austin Galloway buries it, and it's now 4-1. to one. So Austin Galley with the marker, as you see him snap it right through the five hole of Justin Urquhart. And that one. That'll sink the air in your tires. It's Capicotto brings it along. Top of the circle. Holds up. Wait. Found Abraham with the backhand as he had a nice rush and got upended. Four one now for the Rangers. Ice Hawks send a long pass down the ice intended for Holt. Brought in across the line by Fung. He's stick checked by DeVincentis. Fung keeps it in deep, however, and Abraham will put it around the board. Chop from the blue line. That one was rising and goes about five feet over the goal. Holt flips it through center. Glove down and ahead for the Rangers. Abraham tried to find Bennett. Got picked off by Price, however, the Rangers were offside. Here's Shane Bennett, the Ice Hawks leading scorer. Dances his way through the neutral zone. Passes it to himself off the boards. In the corner. That's Bennett being checked. Cleared around. Pusangas races over. However, he can't keep it in. And he'll just dump it right back. Ice Hawks are offside. It's a completing a change. Here comes Kinsella. Tried to toe drag his way in. Up end it's Butita. He's tripped down. And they go into the net. And they got to be careful they don't drag it in. And the faceoff's going to come outside as Butita was tripped up and put into his own net. And even sent us some price exchange words. And now we'll check the out-of-town scores as 
The Oakville Blades lead the Mississauga Chargers 2-0. 6-0 now for the Hamiltons trailing St. Mike's. Trenton up 3-1 on Lindsay. Kingston's got a 1-0 lead on Wellington. And we'll get another look. And there's Newmarket and Pickering. They are tied at once. Kosak passed it across, trying to find Lang. Didn't connect, and back to control of the Rangers. In the corner. Breakout pass right onto the stick of Atchison. Here's a shot. It went wide. Kosak's racing for it. Also there was Butita. Kept in briefly by the Rangers. Breaking out. Lang off the boards. Butita goes in after it. Galley passed it behind the goal. Good forecheck pressure there from Josh Pace as he was looking for it. Picking it up behind the net is Charles Lapierre. Lapierre passed it around. Kept in at the half boards, is stepping up and pinching in. That was Austin Kosak. And we're going to have a penalty coming up. It's going to be a roughing minor, and it's going to the Rangers. So as it usually goes, when the penalties are going one side, they're going to end up going to the other side eventually. And that's what we've got as Charles Lapierre goes off for the rough. And we'll see where this happened. Lapierre with the check, and if he got a if he got a penalty for just checking his man who took a run at him. Wow. The officials really not looking for any contact in this game tonight, as it looks like. There's a questionable call this time going to the Rangers. Ice Hawks on their second power play of the night. Big check there from Campbell behind the goal. Burns helped dump the man right over. Burns behind the net. He's being pushed from behind, and he's tied up. Cleared around, and this one escapes the zone. Kept in deep. Burns has his stick being held, and it's still being held, and now he takes a punch to the side of the head. And here we go. Oh, here we go. Burns has got his gloves off, and I'm not 100% sure that's going with. That's Brody Power. So Power and Burns go down quickly. Meanwhile, Devin Sentis is having words with Corey Kulk. So Power and Burns continued to battle along the boards, and finally Burns dropped his gloves. And those two will head to the exits early. And there's how it all started. And then you see Burns and Powers having words. And away they would go. So their evening is done. And there won't be any power plays coming out of that. So five each for fighting in game misconduct. Assess the power and burns. And the faceoff's going to come out into the neutral zone. Good chance in front as the Ice Hawks are still on the power play. 55 seconds left in the penalty to Charles Lapierre. And there you see Michael Capicato. He's already picked up two minors here tonight, both of which he was questioning. Let's see if he regroups. Definitely like to strike here as the Ice Hawks would like to cut this lead in half. Down 4-1 on the power play. 
Bennett works his way up at the face-off dot. Holds up and waits. Goes to the line. Kosak across to DeVincentis. DeVincentis back to Kosak. Bennett's calling for it. Being hooked is Kosak. He's taken down, and it's a five-on-three coming up now for the Ice Hawks for 34 seconds. So off is Chris Atchison as he goes for the hook, and there was no doubt about that as he would tug down Austin Kosak. Gets his sticker right in there, and the entire Milton bench gets their hands up, calling for the penalty, and they get their wish granted, and it's a five on three for 34 seconds. And the Ice Hawks score on the power play as Shane Bennett scores. And the Ice Hawks are going to continue to be on the power play as the first penalty had not yet expired. So Shane Bennett gets it from Justin DeVincentis. Bennett would bury it there from the right side. And it is four to two, and the Ice Hawks stay on the power play. So we'll see if they can get another one back. Sent down the ice, and Urquhart's out of the goal. Dumped in by Capicotto and just been informed Austin Kosak will also get an assist there on Bennett's power play marker. Rangers looking to move up ice. Here's Kinsella across the blue line. Drops it back. They're still shorthanded. They got three men in deep in front of the goal. Shorthanded attempt. Picked up. Odd man rush. Here come the Ice Hawks racing back to get them are the Rangers. Butita walks in with the shot. He hit the post. And it's covered up. Where's Keel's not sure where it was. As Butita came in and gave him a whack. And now Kinsella goes at... Brutita, and I believe Ryan Kinsella has just picked up a penalty here. And Kinsella, yeah, yeah. So Kinsella is going to get a cross-checking penalty here, and the parade to the box continues. Now it's the North Arc Rangers' chance, and what a chance for Brutita there! He just missed. So Kinsella went at. Butita, he was trying to take exception for cross check or for his poke at the goaltender. So off the face off, five on three once again. Now for 48 seconds, Campbell's in there deep, picked up. The puck was actually picked up there for a moment by McGuire, and the Rangers send it down the ice. So the Ice Hawks already got one on the five on three. We'll see if they can do it again. Campbell passed it over to Kosak. Coburn to Kosak. Steven sent his back to Kosak. There's a the shot redirection and just went wide. Oh, 10 seconds left in the penalty to Atchison. Kosak has it, throws it back to the line. Steven sent his to Kosak. They put it down low. Here's the shot. That one was stopped as Butita put that one. And then Campbell comes up and now LaPierre goes at him. So here we go. We got Campbell and Lapierre, and they're throwing some punches for the right hand right off the bat. Campbell got him down and continued to throw them. And I definitely, well, definitely here, Ty Campbell's going to get the original penalty as he delivered a cross check right up high on Charles Lapierre, and Lapierre immediately took exception. We'll see if there's an instigator on the play. We'll see if we've got the footage of that one. And the players to fight beginning right off the bat. So the officials discuss it and we'll see what the calls are. Let's 
17. There's the cross check from Campbell up high. And Lapierre comes right at him. So Campbell's only going to get the only minor penalty for the cross check. I'd imagine the Ice Hawks, there you see, he kept wailing away when he got him down on the ice. I imagine the Ice Hawks are a little upset that there was no instigator called on Lapierre, who just dropped his gloves and started throwing punches. But there was nothing called, and we'll wait and see. I don't think anything additional will be added. So that penalty actually did get changed. So I was saying there might not be anything additional added, and there has been. It's going to be four minutes for high sticking to Ty Campbell. Well, it's a double minor for high sticking. That's what, there was no doubt about it. He got his stick up high there. So Campbell's gone for the night, and so is Lapierre. So Lapierre's night is done. So is Campbell. It's their second fight here of the second. And we're playing four on four as right back on the ice is Atchison. So four on four hockey setting up are the Rangers. They put it down low. Pass out in front and Urquhart might have got a piece of it and this one will escape the zone. Here's Holt walking in, over to Bennett. Bennett shot, scores! Shane Bennett is second of the night, and the Ice Ox are within one. A great pass over there from Holt as he found Bennett, and Bennett buries it. And Shane Bennett. Scores on the four on four. And now it's four to three. Faceoffs coming out of the zone, and the Ice Hawks have turned it up here, and maybe those fights kind of sp sparked them a bit. Drawing the neutral zone. Colburn pushes it ahead. Oh, and he had it taken out of his skates, and offsides called with 48 seconds left here in the period. Abraham heads off as Arnold was late on the change. So setting up are the Rangers behind the net. Piacentini made the breakout pass, which leads the charge. Kearns has it. Knocked away from him, and the puck will go down the ice. 30 seconds left here in the second period. 4-3 to three for the North York Rangers. Ice Ox getting it down the ice. Icing's waved off as they're shorthanded now. With the first minor almost up, so the Ice Hawks got 10 more seconds to kill off, and that will basically be knocked off here as Pace got it out of the zone. So the first two is down to Ty Campbell with five seconds left in the period, and this period's going to come to an end. With a pass cross ice, and the buzzer sounds, and a wild second period to say the least. The Ice Hawks fell down 4-1. They get two goals from Shane Bennett to get them back within one. A few fights mixed in there as well. And that second period really sparked the Ice Hawks. So they're within one heading into the third. So a wild second period as we'll look back quickly. 
Austin Galley got the scoring started to make it 4-1 at 11.58. Shane Bennett on the power play at 16.05, and then Bennett again at 18.43. And that made it 4-3. And then for those penalties, fighting majors going to Ryan Burns and Brody Power. And then Ty Campbell and Charles Lapierre dropped the mitts. And with that, those four players, their evening comes to an end quickly and briefly. So that'll do it for the second period of play. We'll be back with the third period coming up in moments. You'll definitely want to stay tuned. The Rangers lead 4-3 to three over the Ice Sox. This is Milton Ice Sox Hockey, brought to you by JBI Productions on FastHockey.com. All right, everybody, welcome back now for the third period of play between the North York Rangers and the Milton Ice Ox. The Rangers on top, 4-3 to three after two periods of play. Now time to take a look back at our play of the period in the second frame, and it's going to go to Shane Bennett, who got his second goal of the period with only a minute 17 left. Nice move from Daniel Holt. Great pass, and Bennett buries it right past the goaltender, Keo. And with that, the Ice Ox have got within one. So 4-3. to three. And the Rangers start on the power play as we're into the final two minutes of the double minor that Ty Campbell received for high sticking, which is being served by Kern D. Nat. So puck goes out of play, and we will do this face off in the neutral zone now. Ladies and gentlemen, get your 50-50 tickets ready. You'll be announced the winning ticket at the next stoppage of play. Kalk. Back to the line to Pia Santini. There's a redirection, and that one goes off the end glass. Demon Sentis picks it up, spins, doesn't get it out. Kept at the line. Pia Santini. Goes over. There's a shot. Redirection in front of the net. Puck is still loose, and Arnold puts it into the corner. Now Patrick Arnold will send it down the ice. That was a shot from Liam Kearns, and the rebound just sat there. Not getting a piece of it. Was the Rangers forward? Icing got waved off. Capicato redirects it down the ice. Out of the goal is Keo. Keo leaves it. Pia Centini has it. Pia Centini starts up ice. He gets to the red line and will continue to hold on and they stay onside. Stretching out there was Atkinson. Here's a shot from Cairns. Redirection stopped by Erker. Puck loose and they score. Chris Atkinson in front of the goal on the power play. And it's the second power play marker of the night. And that two goal lead is restored for the Rangers. So Chris Atkinson right at the top of the goal. We'll get the marker from Corey Kalk. Patrick Piacentini at 112. Yes, a score! Michael Capicotto and the Ice Sox answer back in a hurry. And once again, they now trail by one. So Bennett gets it over there. Capicotto and the Ice Sox score. And with that, they're within one. They now trail five to four. Uh, 
In the net, Ice Sox looking for it, and PSNT puts it around. There's a big check as Arnold just laid out, and I'm not 100% sure who that was, but he is down. And we got a penalty coming up. It's going to be boarding. Meanwhile, still down is the North York player as he got absolutely leveled by Patrick Arnold. And I believe that is number 11. Zachary Fung. And we have a boarding penalty coming up. So here's another look if we could maybe catch that hit. So Zachary Fung's going to get the pass and watch Arnold just smoke some as he turns around right into that one. And Fung is still down behind the play. Meanwhile, there's been a boarding minor assessed on the play. This one going to Chris Atchison. So back to his feet, Fung, and he's all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your 50-50 tickets out. Here is the winning 50-50 ticket number. The winning ticket is ticket number 029. 2972. Once again, the winning 50-50 ticket is ticket number 029972. If it's your ticket, you need to collect your winnings in the lobby. And then you your participation at 50-50 draw. You continue to support of your bills and ice hawks. Going to our penalty to number 9, Chris Atchison. Two minutes rewarding. Time of the penalty, 2-11. That's Atchison. Two minutes rewarding at 2-11. Ice hawks here on the power play trying to set up. They go across, Steven Santis walks in, shot is blocked, just lying out there to block it was Gian Santini. And this guy's had a heck of a game here tonight. Shane Bennett trying to pick it up, and he does. Got it over the line, but this one's sent down the ice. Urquhart out of the goal, will slow it down. Austin Kosak behind the net, stops with 110 left in the penalty to Chris Atchison. Holt. Makes the pass over to Capicato. He takes a slash, drops it back to Bennett. Bennett across to Kosak. Kosak's shot is put wide. Steven Sent is up at the half board. Slips it into the corner. Capicato would wrap it around. Picked up. He tried to get it back to Kosak and is tipped out of the zone. So Austin Kosak picks it up and controls. Still has it and makes the pass down the left wing to Capicato. Michael Capicato to Kosak. Kosak. Bandis he tried to flip it over there to Josh Pace. Demon Sentis spins back. Being checked. Loses the puck. The Rangers had it taken out of the way from them. However, they regroup and send it back. Controlled by Liam Kearns. They dump it down the ice. 15 seconds left in the penalty to Atchison. Here comes Baird. Jake Baird dumps it in and he chases hard after it. Does a nice job and gets in there. The Ice Sox now controlling. Baird in the corner being pinned. Pace comes in to help him out. Jake Baird with it. We're back to even strength. Bryce Abraham with the shot. That one got blocked in front. Backhanded down the ice. Kutsangas tried to knock it down. Goes underneath his stick. Urquhart slowed it down. Kutsangas wraps it around the boards. Picked up by Abraham. Abraham to Baird. Here goes Jake Baird. He backhands it into the zone and heads off for a change. Here's Brad Coburn in on the forecheck. Coburn lays a nice check. He's still trying to dig it out. Behind the play, Daniel Kutsangas limps off to the bench as he's feeling the effects of which might have been a hit. Jeremy Lang picks it up, and here comes Lang. Down the right wing, takes the shot on goal, and Keo holds on to make the save. Action packed first four minutes and 50 seconds of the third period. Face off to the left of Jacob Keo. Kutita pushed it ahead. 
coming out of that one with it was Giacchio Medi. Giacchio Medi got it ahead. It's dumped in by Kinsella. Might have been offside, and yep, it's going to be called. This is a late offside. So the Rangers have to get back to tag up. This gives time for Tyler Burns to get across the red line, and he'll flip it into the zone. This one takes a wild bounce there. Giacchio Medi being checked away. Butita puts it out in front, and Keo covers up. North York Rangers really had to control this game in the first half of it, but the Ice Hawks have really fired back. Good to see that fight coming from the Ice Hawks. Right now they're down a defenseman and a forward. Ty, or Ryan Burns, actually two forwards are down. Ryan Burns and Ty Campbell. Both were done for fighting majors in the second period. that hasn't really affected the ice hockey. Everybody's really stepped up. Apicado, trying to dig it out. Gives a couple whacks, and he's gonna get another penalty. Make that three minors now to Michael Capicado as Steven Senses touches, and he's gonna get called for slashing. And he shakes his head once again and can't believe it. So Capicado's off for the slash. His third penalty of the evening. Capicotto, one-handed, and then maybe the two-hand there. There was a loud noise here in the building from the flash. That might have been the reason for the call. Range is setting up, and we're going to have a holding penalty coming up as in front of the net, Patrick Arnold's stick was being held. So there goes that power play for... There goes that power play for the Rangers. Chris Atchison goes off for holding the stick. It's only 14 seconds of power play time there for the Rangers. He does not agree with that call. Holding the stick is the call. It was behind us right there in front of the net in the slot. Arnold was tied up. Fourth quarter penalty is number nine. To the blue line. There's a pass across. McGuire with the shot. Scores! Scott McGuire. Blast one home. And once again, it's a two goal lead for the Rangers. So McGuire with the shot there, and it gets past Urquhart, past his glove. Corey Culkin, Patrick Piancentini, get the assist. North York goal scored by number 61, Scott McGuire. Also the line of 15, Corey Culkin, and number two, Patrick Piancentini. Time of the goal, 6-18. That's McGuire, Culkin, Piancentini at 6-18. Shane Bennett will pass it over to Pusangas. 6-4 lead here for the Rangers. Some 4-on-4 four four hockey for 55 more seconds. And then it'll be a very short 14-second power play. There's Bennett. He takes a big check. Holt brings it in. His shot was blocked. Holt gets it to Bennett. Bennett with it. Takes the shot. And that one's gloved by Jacob Keough. Keo holds on. Takes a look up at the scoreboard there. 38 seconds left in the penalty to Michael Capicotto, 52 in the penalty to Chris Atchison. So as mentioned, a very brief power play for the Ice Hawks. It's coming up. Arnold puts it in deep for Butita. Butita tries to put it on front for Lang, and that one was blocked and picked off. And away with it, here goes Austin Galley. Galley holds up, stripped of the puck. Out in front, good shot from Lang, and that one was stopped by Keo. Lang with a good opportunity right in the slot on the one-timer. And it's kicked aside and out of play. So 
So the Ice Sox have really been able to control the play a little bit here as they've been aggressive on the four check. They win the draw back. Arnold with the shot. Keomik's save rebound was loose, but no one's there. And it is covered up by Keo as he dives out of that one. And all this will do is put the face off on the right side this time. Face off controlled by the Rangers. Pia Santini behind the goal has it. So he'll start to skate out. Pia Santini passes off. They find Price. Price across the line. Gives it to Kinsella. Back on the ice is Capicato. Very brief power play. Here's a shot. And Urquhart makes the save. Urquhart covers it up and holds on. 10 seconds left in the penalty to Atchison. Here's a look at the out of town scores. Oak fills up 3 0, 9 0 now for St. Mike. You got a feel for Hamilton at this point in the year. Trenton's doubling up on Lindsay 4 2. Kingston continues to lead 1 0 over Wellington. And Newmark is up 4 1 over Pickering. Pace danced his way across the line, had the puck knocked away from him. Puck comes around the boards. Colburn's in there on the check. Brought out. Can sell off the boards. Atchison out of the box. We're even. Atchison tried to put it out in front. That one hit the side of the net. And it goes out of. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ice Hawks next home game is next Sunday, December 30th at 3.30. Note that this game was originally scheduled for next Friday. This game is now on next Sunday, December 30th. Game time is 3.30. I the Ice Hawks will play host to the Orangeville Flyers. Off the draw, Pia Santini goes over there, checked right into us here, McGuire was. McGuire's got the insurance marker so far. Capicotto didn't put much on his pass through the neutral zone, and it's controlled by the Rangers. Pia Santini has it, passes it over, and it's controlled now. Simmons put it ahead, this one goes in on goal. Urquhart decides to play it. He gives it right to Galley, however. One-timer was wide. Off the end boards, Putsangas has it. Putsangas gives it over to Patrick Simmons. Now controlled there by Fung. Good to see Zachary Fung back after taking that heavy hit from Patrick Arnold. The face off dot, Holt gives it to Capicato. Holt picks up some speed, gets across the line, puts it in on goal, and it's covered up by the goaltender, Keo. Both teams decide to make line changes here. And we get to see a few forwards who might not get a lot of ice time here in the third usually, but with Campbell and Burns out of the game, a forward like Kern Deep Nat is going to get a chance here to step up. Nat's going to go in there and place a check onto Whitaker, who got it out of the zone. Tyler Burns in the corner. Drops it back, picked up by Nat. Kern Deep Nat is going to go behind the net, gives off to Tyler Burns. Burns up the left wing, gave it to Butita, and he finds Abraham. Here comes Bryce Abraham, moving in across the line, he has the puck. Abraham to his backhand, trying to protect. Try to spin back and get away from the check from Giacchio Medi. Tripped up in front of the goal is Butita. Here go the Rangers up ice. Covering back is Jeremy Lang. Lang's gonna go behind the net to retrieve, however Urquhart came out to play it. Abraham drops it back, takes a check from behind. Tyler Burns has it and carries out. Burns, backhand saucers it over to Butita on the left wing. Right hand shot coming down the left side with the shot on goal, and Keo holds on. So Keo will hold on. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to follow the Ice Hawks on Twitter at Milton Ice Hawks 1. You can follow us at, at JVI Video. Follow Fast Hockey at Fast Hockey. And the Ontario Junior Hockey League can be followed at OJHL Official. Face off will be to the right of Keel, thrown out of the circle. Originally there was Carpino. Ice Hawks got it in deep, however, the Rangers try to play it up the left wing boards. They'll regroup back behind the net, and it's controlled there by Scott McGuire. McGuire off to Pia Santini. These two log a lot of minutes for this Rangers squad. Pia Santini throws it back behind the net. Now McGuire's going to try and carry it out. 
Here comes Scott McGuire. Gets a bit of a pick there from Liam Kearns. Kearns has it. Tried to toe drag it back on Arnold. And the second attempt, he gets it in deep. Steven Sentis picks it up. Flips at this one. Kept it at the line there by McGuire. Nice job from Scott McGuire. Keeping it in the zone. Coburn. Tried to get it out. Kept in. Kearns picks it up behind the goal line. Liam Kearns loses it. Brad Coburn. The Steven Sentis behind the net. Carpino was coming at him on the one side, so he played it around on the other. Baird's there, coming in to help with Arnold. Jake Baird plays it back to Brad Coburn. Coburn's got to get in motion. He goes to Steven Sentis. The Ice Hawks are playing with it right in their own zone. they got to start advancing, and they do. They tried to hit pace. That one hopped over his stick, and icing will be called with 8.54 left here in the third period. And then the linesman, Jill, or Richard, explaining what the call was. The Ice Hawks saw that icing could have been possibly waved off. Coburn will take the face off for the Ice Hawks. And he's thrown out of the circle. Jake Baird now in to take it. Goes into the corner. Kinsella's there. Arnold's on him. Ice Hawks are retired here. They've got a line who's been out there for a while and couldn't change because of the icing. Behind the goal line. Josh Pace looking for it. Kept in deep by Jocko Ometti. Cobran, one hand to the head, and he has it. Here goes Cobran. He carries it out, and they're going to be able to make that line change. So now Baird and Cobran turn around and head right off. They got it in deep. Daniel Holt on the four check. Tried to lay a check. Here's a pass up ice. That one misses and goes for icing. And then North York's bench is upset with that icing call. Eight twenty-six left here in the third. Bennett to take the draw. Wins it back cleanly. Kosak's shot. That one was blocked. Giacomo Medi behind the net. Sidestep the check coming from Capicato. Played it out. Flipped in. Kosak knocked it down. Bennett and Kosak. Kosak has it. It was not going to skate into the pile of players there. Goes off to Pusangas. Pusangas gets across the line. Finds Bennett. Bennett with a lane shot. Save rebound. Puck was loose. It's still loose. And it gets knocked out of the way and out of the zone. Bennett had a great chance there for his third of the night. But a big save from Keo. Holt races in there. As he saw the icing was waved off, couldn't play it out in front. Busangas thought about stepping up. And this one's controlled by Maguire. Maguire up ice, and it's called offside. As he let that one go just as the whistle was blowing. So the Ice Hawks here, we're going to wait and see what's up. So we got a change here. Referee Smith comes in, informs us that we got an assist change. So the second assist went to Corey Kalk. It's now been given to John Carpino. So a quick icing off that face off. 7.35 left in the third. Face off to the left of Justin Urquhart. Butita off the face off, won it over to the boards. Carpino looking for it to put to the blue line. Piacentini couldn't keep it in deep. Picked up Butita. He's got a lot of speed, but he's checked off the puck. Back checking, trying to get it there. North York has a couple players to take a pass behind their back. Nat tries to dance his way in. He's checked away from it. Kieran plays it off the boards. Picking it up is Carpino. Carpino is checked along the boards by Butita. In to help us, Piacentini. Now up ice, across the line. That's Cairns. He's checked over. This one's flipped out into the neutral zone. Nat racing hard at it. He checks Piacentini. Piacentini sent it the length of the ice. Icing is going to be called. I thought it might be. And it'll be called. So unable to change here. Are the Rangers. 6.54 left here in the third. 6-4 lead for the Ice Hawks. Coburn going to take the draw. Thrown out of the circle is Kearns. 
Coburn's won it over to the board. Behind the net. Tenenbaum couldn't get it out. Now Cairns does. Arnold's got to knock it down. It could be a break. Walking in, here's a chance, and a great diving play from Patrick Arnold as he got back and took a swipe at that one to knock the puck away from a breakaway opportunity as we get a scrum in the corner. Get one other look. Arnold probably should have played the man at first, tried to play the puck. It didn't work. And here came Carpino, a dangerous player to have coming in on a breakaway. And you see right there, does a great job to knock it away. And he makes sure that he's going to take that net off with him to get the face off to the right of Justin Urchart. Draw one to the boards, picked up by Pace, and he's got some speed. Josh Pace trying to walk in and get it past Jockey Ometti. He dumped it in deep on Tenenbaum. Tenenbaum just pushes him away. It's a bit of a stiff arm. Steven Sentis steps up and keeps it in deep. Here's Steven Sentis spinning back, looking for a bit of space. Flipped it out into the high slot, picked off, and here come the Rangers. Steven Sentis, though, gets back and does a nice job to break up the pass. Here's Price. Banks it off his skate as he goes between the legs. He's checked by Demon Sentis and knocked down. Collision with Cobran. Puck at the side of the goal. Bounced out in front. It's controlled by Josh Pace. Pace lets one go. That was blocked. Cobran couldn't pick it up. And then he gets a high stick up, and Cobran's going to get a penalty here. And still down on the ice is the player that he got with the stick. And we'll definitely get, have to take another look here and just see how bad that high sticking was. The Coburn's off, and they're checking to see if the player's cut. So let's take a look here. Coburn's only off for two. Tough to see. We go. He doesn't even, I don't think he even realizes that. Coburn didn't realize at first that the stick touched him in the face. You see the player there just throws his head back to really make sure it was seen. So high sticking is called. So Coburn definitely not pleased with that call. 20 seconds off the penalty so far. Big power play here for the Rangers. They really just like to put this game out of reach. Here's Holt, and Daniel Holt's got a breakaway. Holt, shorthanded, walking in, shot, and it stopped as he didn't really get anything on that as he tried to go five hole on Keo. That was a big opportunity. Carpino gets across the line and holds up. He tried to find Fung in the slot. Fung picks up along the boards. Zach Fung puts it into the corner. Pass to the blue line, and there's a nice job by Shane Bennett, and he's read that one perfectly. Carpino circles back, and he'll pass it over there to McGuire. Capicotto made sure to finish his check, and the Ice Sox send it the length of the ice. 4.35 left here in the third. The Rangers leading 6-4. to four. 40 seconds left now in the penalty to Brad Coburn for high sticking. Jocko Ometti makes the pass. That one's offside. And the Rangers are going to circle back. And Arnold's going to get it some time here to sit behind the net. He gives it to Devin Sentis. Devin Sentis now will hammer it down the ice. So the ice hops. Kill off a few seconds. As we're into the final now. 15 seconds of the penalty to Brad Coburn. Utita almost caught McGuire with a hit there. McGuire. Passed off to Ashenson, and it's called offside. So a lot of yapping going on between these two teams. There's a lot of words being exchanged after each whistle. Draw in the neutral zone. Five seconds left in the penalty here to Coburn. And Coburn will now step back out onto the ice. So another big penalty kill for the Ice Hawks as they've been shorthanded many times here tonight. They have given up two power play goals. However, 
But North York now is two for nine on the power play. This one, I think they were gonna leave it for icing. That one didn't have enough steam. There's a backhander from Fung that went wide. Arnold on Fung. Fung works his way back up along the boards, gives it to Jake Baird. Baird tried to take it away. This one's picked up and Colburn out of the box. He's got a bit of speed. On his backhand, tries to cut in. Ron behind the goal, puts it out in front and it got tipped away into the corner. Colburn keeps it in deep. No ice hawk there to control. And the breakout pass connects. Here come the North York Rangers. Funk places that one, and he gets leveled by Brad Colbrin. So Fung is taking a few huge hits here tonight. Carpino has it taken away from him. Bennett with the shot. That one was right off the collarbone of Keo. Here's a shot from Capicotto that went wide. The Ice Hawks have got to turn up the heat here. Bennett with the shot. At the side of the goal, Capicotto whacks away, and it gets sent down the ice. And right there on the spot was official Moyes, and he waves that one off. That puck did not find the back of the goal. Right there, the puck. Here's the shot from Bennett. Right through his legs, and it's shot away. Big, big break there for the North York Rangers. Meanwhile, they're killing time here. As they got some tired skaters out there and they changed the goaltender's stick. So when you can't change your players, you might as well try and come up with a way to get a timeout. Although they thought maybe the coach would have called a timeout there. Bennett spins along the ice and that one just went wide. 2.30 left in the third. Bennett gets it at the top, right at the circle, takes the shot, redirection miss. Capicotto at the side of the goal, wax away, and it's covered up by Keo. 2.20. Left here in the third. 6-4 for the North York Rangers. And if we want to talk about the Ice Hawks trying to make a comeback, we definitely know it's possible. We saw what they did last Friday when they got two goals in the last minute to get within one against the Georgetown Raiders. This time they're going to need two to tie. Off the faceoff, Piacentini banks it off the boards, Kosak picks it up. Austin Kosak goes back, and has it. Along the boards a battle, right in front of the Ice Hawks bench. Behind the net, Kosak does a nice job pinning his man up, so does Coburn. Kicked along, controlled, that's Kierens. Or Kinsella, Kinsella throws it back to the blue line. P.S. Santini takes the shot and that one missed. McGuire picks it up. He's already got one tonight, he slaps it in deep. 140, left here in the third. Hootsangas checks his man. This one's tipped ahead, here's Brad Colbrin. Colbrin off the boards, tries to get around Pia Santini. McGuire picks it up. Scott McGuire, 90 seconds left here in the third. At the line, looking to pick it up his pace. Slapped out of the zone, picked up by Josh Pacey, comes across the blue line, tipped away from him. Down the ice, Daniel Holtz off the bench. We've got an empty net now for the Ice Hawks. Here comes Daniel Holt, the extra attacker out there. He's got some speed, goes wide, tries to put it out in front. They scram away at the side of the goal. Capicotto couldn't put it in. He throws it back, puts Sangus a shot. That one's tipped, picked up now, and the Rangers have a chance at the empty cage. Kierens has it, and Kierens will ice this one here tonight as he puts it into the empty net with 55 seconds left here in the third. So it's going to be Liam Kearns from John Carpino and Corey Kalk, an empty netter with 55 seconds left. And the Ice Hawks are down by three. They're going to need a big comeback here. Thirty seconds now left here in the third. As the Ice Sox gave it a good effort here tonight, they fell down 4-1. But the Rangers weren't going to let them right back into this game. 
The Ice Hawks were never able just to tie it up. Pace is checked. DeVincentis will chase in hard after it. And now 10 seconds left here in the game. McGuire gets across the line and dumps it in. And Josh Pace will go behind the net and will let this game come to an end as the buzzer sounds and the North York Rangers defeat the Milton Ice Hawks by a score of 7-4. to four. And a game that really picked up some steam in the second period, a wild second period. Saw the Ice Hawks get right back into it, but unfortunately for the Ice Hawks, they just come up short here tonight. As the North York Rangers, back powered by that top line, including John Carpino and Corey Kalk, they send the Ice Sox home with a 7-4 defeat. So while we have a chance, we'll recheck here the third period scoring. And it really picked up right off the bat. As it was 4-3 to three heading into the third, and Chris Atchison would score from Corey Culkin, Patrick uh, Piacentini. Let's say we get that one on the power play. Then we got Michael Capicato came right back about 30 seconds later to get the Ice Hawks within one goal. But Scott McGuire's point shot that got through at 618 of the third, that would be the insurance marker that the Rangers would need. They'd bury an empty netter. Liam Cairns from John Carpeno and Corey Culk with 55 seconds left would seal the deal as the as the Milton Ice Hawks fall to the North York Rangers by a score of 7-2-4. So for the Ice Hawks now, they've got one more game before the Christmas break as they will, as they will head into the Christmas break after Sunday's game against the Burlington Cougars, which is in Burlington at the Wave Arena. And then the Ice Hawks will come back. December 30th is their next game. That'll be a home game against the Orangeville Flyers. So, for everybody here, my name is Mark McKelvey, and everyone here would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Tonight, the North York Rangers defeat the Milton Ice Hawks by a score of 7-4. to four. For everyone here, once again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We hope to see you at the rink soon.